Welcome back YouTube for this week's AVA rigs and this is a very particularly special AVA rig system. Why much you ask? Well, typically you see a lot of gaming systems on our AVA rigs videos and sometimes even servers like a couple weeks ago. This week we are looking at a Threadripper X399 workstation configuration designed particularly for a media outlet that you may know as called Grayscale Gorilla. Who is Grayscale Gorilla? Grayscale Gorilla is a company that is founded in and for the motion design community. According to them, they believe in creating tools and content that help motion designers at every level. They basically want to make sure that learning is more accessible and effective and creating easy to follow tutorials. And that's something that we have worked with Grayscale Gorilla for in the past, slightly by providing them with workstations that they will use on their tutorials. This particular PC is actually for the CEO of Grayscale Gorilla, Nick Campbell. Nick is an individual, as far as I know, that's always used Apple products and is very familiar with Apple's workstations and has decided to join the dark side and go into the workstation space that is Windows workstations. Now, this system is packed very heavily for motion video design. By that meaning, it's got a 32 core Threadripper 2990WX processor, 64 gigs of Kingston HyperX Predator memory clocked at 3200 megahertz. It's got one terabyte Samsung 970 Evo SSD, a two terabyte Samsung 970 Evo SSD. And that's pretty common for workstation users. You have your main SSD, that's your operating system and your applications. And then you typically have a secondary SSD that's scratch disk storage. Now for motion design, those files can range anywhere between five gigs to hundred gigs, depending on the size of the project. So you really wanna make sure that you go as large as you can with that scratch disk space. Otherwise you might hit a wall. Not with your creativity, just in your storage space. A couple things to note about this bad boy uh, that you can see from looking in the side panel windows, it's got two GTX 1080 Ti's. And the reason for that is, is that with a lot of 3D work or 4D work, if you're using Cinema 4D, much like what Grayscale Gorilla does tutorials on, the more 3D horsepower you have to throw at it, the better. It reduces your render times, it helps with your real-time effects when you're in the middle of creating projects. Very resourceful to have. The one tasteful thing I do enjoy about this build is the fact that it looks so elegant and pretty. And by that I mean, it doesn't have all those flashy RGB lights. It's just a nice ambiance of black hardware with some white lights to accent like the GeForce GTX 1080 Ti. You have the Animax liquid cooler, which by the way, for Threadripper systems, you need to throw as much cooling performance as you can at it. So we oftentimes will use the Animax TR42 coolers because they have a TDP rating of 500 watts. So why wouldn't you want that TDP rating of 500 watts? I mean, it's a friggin' processor that can heat up the sun, and that's saying something. Well, that about does it for this week's workstation edition of AVA Rigs. Remember to like and subscribe to this YouTube video and our channel. We also have our Instagram, our Twitch, and Twitch, what? Twitter, YouTube, Instagram. Also, we're gonna put a link to Grayscale Gorilla's YouTube channel if you have an interest in seeing their uh, how-to videos and any of their tutorials in terms of the applications that they use and the plugins that they offer. Signing off, this is Joe, and thanks for watching.